Welcome to our X-Crane Electrical Crane Control System Tutorial. In this video we will go through the functionality and features of the graphical user interface. Let's start with the main view of the system, which provides the operator with important information about crane status and metrics. The manufacturer decides what is displayed for optimal system usability, and therefore some features may vary. On the left side of the display we see the time date and battery voltage. Some configurations also show information about hydraulic oil pressure and temperature, as well as outside temperature. In the middle we see the crane operation status. If the operator symbol is green, the crane is enabled and can be operated. If any safety switches are activated the operator symbol will turn orange, and the crane will be disabled. We can also see what part of the crane is being controlled. The function that is activated is highlighted in blue, whereas inactive functions are grayed out. In our example the crane is activated with the option to toggle between controlling the boom and stabilizers. On the right side we have the operating modes quick controls as well as access to the settings. Let's first take a look at the operation modes. The operation modes you can choose between depends on the license. This configuration has the X-Crane Pro license which means that you can choose between all the available modes with one button press. The mode that is active will be highlighting. Moving down we have the USB configurations. When a USB drive is inserted, you can access the mass storage device by pressing the USB symbol. In this menu you can import and export data, such as operator settings logs and system configurations. Press this button to safely remove the USB drive when you are done. The third button gives the operator the option to switch between different operator profiles. There are six profiles, which are fully customizable to accommodate for different operating styles. When a new operator starts using the crane he can switch to his profile, and preferred settings instantly. The next button opens the Techni and Quick Trim slider, which controls the speed of all crane movements. You can further adjust the speed balance which determines how much the Quick Trim affects each specific movement. This is done in the settings, which is accessed from the last button in the menu. Let's now take a look at the other features of this system. This is the main menu. Here you can access crane and joystick settings diagnostics and system information. By pressing the arrow in the upper right corner you can return to the previous view. The first adjustable variable under crane settings is max speed. Here you can adjust the max speed of the different crane movements. All values are expressed in percent of the maximum speed, and can be changed either with the arrows on the touch screen or with the joysticks. When using the joysticks to adjust the values, to form the desired movement, and adjust the value with the thumb lever of the opposite joystick. The crane does not move when adjusting the settings, however, pressing the test button, enables crane movements. The values for the auxiliary valves are adjusted in a separate view, which is accessed from the bottom right corner. Moving on to minimum speed, which refers to the minimum amount of current required to make the crane move. Unlike with maximum speed, values here are expressed in milliampers and the crane will move when adjusting the values. Minimum speed must be adjusted upon initial use to ensure proper functioning of the crane. Like with all other adjustable variables we can adjust the auxiliary valve values on a separate page. Acceleration ramp defines how quickly each crane movement goes from minimum to maximum speed. The opposite is true for the deceleration ramp variable. Values for both variables are expressed in milliseconds. Speed balance is related to technique on quick trim that we mentioned earlier. This variable determines how much the speed of each crane movement is affected by the quick trim adjustments. The values are expressed in percent. If speed balance is set to 0%, the speed of the specific movement follows the quick trim directly. At 50% the movement is only affected by half of what the quick trim value is. If you choose 100% for a movement, the speed is not affected by the quick trim adjustments. Next up, rotator direction. Change the rotating direction of the rotator between clockwise and anti-clockwise, simply by tapping the touchscreen. 
the progression control variable determines the linearity of the crane movements. The values are expressed in percent, and a bigger value means that the crane movement will be proportionally slower in the beginning of the joystick movement. This gives more accuracy for the operator in slow speeds. The last variable under crane settings is slew speed, which is an X-Crane Pro only feature. Here you can limit the speed of slewing to a meter per second value. If the value is zero, the slew speed will not be limited. Let's now take a look at the second page in the menu, which contains the joystick settings. First up is joystick calibration. Here you see the center position values, which should be close to 50%. To perform the calibration, press the arrow button, and begin moving both joysticks and buttons to their extreme positions. When you are ready press next and a message will notify you of a successful calibration. You can also adjust the deadband for the joysticks. The values range from 5 to 75%, and determines how much the joystick has to move in order to initiate the crane movement. The filter adjustment makes the joysticks less sensitive to vibrations, which is useful when operating the crane while moving. A bigger value means that more of the incoming joystick signal is filtered. Let's now move to the diagnostics page, which can be accessed by pressing the magnifying glass button. Here you find all important information about the system, and the status of the different crane functions. First up is output, which shows the current that is transmitted to the valves. The values are expressed in milliampers. If there are sensors installed to the crane you can see their output values here. The measured unit depends on the sensor. Joystick position can also be observed. A properly calibrated setup, with the joysticks in their neutral position, should give 50% as the value. The maximum and minimum value when manipulating the joysticks should range from 90% to 10%. Moving on, we have input value. When testing switches and buttons the input value will change from 0 to 1 if everything is working properly. Press the system button, to see the current voltage, working time, power on time, and time since startup of the system. Working time measures the time when the crane is moving. On the second page we see the CAN network status. The fault log will display a warning or error message if something has malfunctioned or isn't working properly. With no faults in the system the log is empty, which is the case in our example. Under software information, you will find information about the software firmware and display. If you have the X-Crane Pro configuration enabled, the last diagnostic feature is boom position. This will show you the angles of the crane, and the position of the crane tip. The last sub-menu, in the main menu, is system. This is where you can configure the display settings, copy parameters and perform a factory reset. Let's start with the display settings. Things you can change related to the display is language, date, time, and display brightness. If you want to copy parameters from another operator, you can do this by selecting the number of the desired profile, and then press OK. This is useful if a new operator doesn't want to configure all settings from start to finish. Finally, the last function in the system submenu is factory reset. This resets all parameters to factory default but only for the currently selected operator. You have to confirm the action, to complete the reset. When returning to the main page, a save confirmation will pop up if you have made changes to any configurations. Unless confirmed, the changes you made will be lost. We have now explored all the features of the X-Crane electrical crane control system. We hope you found this tutorial useful. You can find a complete user manual on our website, as well as information about our other products and solutions. Thank you for watching.